Hail. Uh, a few years ago, I did a, uh, a, a demonstration and a lesson on Backstreet Girl. But to demonstrate that uh, as guitar players, we evolve over time, we hear things, ah, we have aha moments, you know. And then you, you play something different. This is one of those for me. So I play it different than I used to, because I hear things different at this point. And uh, I think this way is, is instructional in terms of how you figure things out by ear and how you ultimately arrive at things and how it may change over time. So let's talk about it just for a minute. Um, when you hear it, you hear it in the key of G. Right. Now it's got that little riff in it, of course. So when you sort of, a lot of figuring things out by ear is trial and error. So you would arrive at this. And that's a good sort of campfire version and that would work if you did it in G. But it doesn't sound right because it doesn't go It doesn't go. It doesn't go up to a, a high D note. It goes down to a low D note. Okay, so if you're doing trial and error, this is what you might try. You might try. Okay, let's tune that low D string, that low E string, down to D. So now you can get the because that's what the bass line does. You can hear it. Well, the bass line on the acoustic guitar. So of course, now you can't do it like this. You have to do your G up here. I don't even know how you... I can't guess you could. <laughs> that doesn't work, because you, you, you're doing this. Keith did not do this, ever. So, so that can't be right. But that does sound closer to right because you need that low D note in there. So the next thing to try, and I just, rather than tune all those strings down, I got one where the strings are all tuned down. Every string tuned down a full step. Your, D, your E chord sounds like a D. Because now you get that D. Okay, so now here's how the bass line goes. And that sounds a lot more like what the what the low notes are doing. So when you try it this way, it's so much more logical on the fingerings, and you can sort of see ah, that, you can see how they wrote it, right? Because you get this. You know that sounds. Sorry, it stays on the A. Then it goes to the D. Now when you're, that's a fiddling around with it kind of thing, but you would arrive at. You're doing it like a, e, a D chord moved up to E, so it's really an E right there. But you're only using the top I'm fingering it as a full D-ish chord, <laughs> triad, but I'm only the B and the high E and the B string with, with an open A string. Then move the whole shape down and do the same thing. That makes a lot of sense. Then the, this one, it's not just an A. It's not an A suspend, because you hear at the end of it. So it's an A, and then the high E string at five. And then he does the same shape that he just did, except now instead of doing E, B, he does G, B with low E string, D, 
string. Same thing. You can just see how he would have played around with that twice, you know, and just change the bass notes that you're plucking on it, then change from the B and E string to the G and B string. That's logical, and that, that makes a lot more sense, especially for someone like Keith, who is, um, you know, he's not doing tricky stuff, he's doing inventive stuff, and there's a difference, you know. Um, so you get this. That does that do, 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 do. Now listen to that bass line. This is one that I used to hear like this. But it doesn't do that. The bass line goes. It doesn't go. So, but the chording is right. If you just did it. That sounds right. But you gotta add. To it because that is this chord. Except you want to go. So the way that goes is is B minor, and then B minor, then C sharp minor, D. Ends on an A E. So it's B minor. I don't know what that chord is, but A at the first fret, D at four, G at three, B at two, then back to the B minor. That's a chord going from this. Sorry. That's gonna take it even take me. I haven't I haven't got that muscle memory down yet, because that's a freaky thing, man. <laughs> so that would take that would take another five, ten minutes of just working on that. See? Jeez. Your your ring finger does not want to move that way. At least mine doesn't. One on A, four on D, three on G, two on B, and then back to the A, B minor. C sharp minor D. That's, uh, this is how I do it, this way, not the way I did it a few years ago. Because, you know, you hear, in fact, it's weird. <laughs> this one, this one I heard the other day, didn't have a guitar on me or anything, and was just listening to it. And as I was listening to it, I was, I could visualize this in my head. I said, that's how he's doing it. He does... And then when I heard, oh, because like these new ones, they're crystal clear. You can really hear and separate the instruments out, you know. Uh, and, and then I, I heard it in my head that way and said, you know what, next time I pick up a guitar, I'm going to try it that way. And sure enough, I sat down and tried it this afternoon. And it fits, man. That, I, that, that's the logical way to play the song. Most songs, there was a few 
that I think don't that, that aren't the intuitive way to play it. But most of classic rock is the intuitive way <laughs> that that you would uh, try to figure it out, sounding it out correctly. Because again, when you sit down in standard tuning and you play it in G, you can see it falls apart pretty quickly. Because you want to get that the low the low note that doesn't exist on a standard tuned guitar. So automatically, alarm bells should be ringing. Okay got to mess with the tuning on this and you got to start with start with the low one because you know at the very least that one's tuned down and then once you try it from there you pretty quickly will realize the bass line's just do a then low e all those are a step down from e a and d but those are the strings you know so once you've got those low notes the stuff on top It'll take you a few minutes to figure out, but I'll bet you, <laughs> I'll bet you if I just went on today and did a video that said, hey, tune everything down a full step, then go play Backstreet Girl. You, I, I, would, I hope you'd have enough of a starting point to get the chord shapes just based on that tuning, because otherwise it's just not going to sound uh, like the recording. Again, you could sit around a campfire and get by with a G version just strumming it around. But if you were doing, uh, you know... <laughs> I don't know how many bands would do this, but if you were doing a campfire version and wanted it to sound right, or sound authentic, tune everything down, all of them. But that's just a, 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 a more, this is more of a lesson on how to figure things out by ear. Trial and error. Try a few different ways, mess around with tunings, and it's not so much a matter of stumbling onto the right, to, to the right sound, but uh, arriving at the right sound through deduction. So that's how I do it. Everything tuned down, all of them tuned down. Good luck.